She likes, but she likes And she could put it all on you, baby If you bout that life, bout that life Because you don't got time to choose it Hey tribe, it's Kia from Heritage93 and when I tell you we have been doing a lot of damage control in the key of nail care sorcery throughout this entire nail care series, hoo chow. Believe me, these are the kinds of nail struggles and bounce backs that you can feel through the screen. Oh yes. Now the current nail shambles that you'll see in just a second is right up there with that one nail struggle that happened a few years back. That you know, a higher than normal amount of people got a chance to see and enjoy or at the very least just plain watch. So I know nail shamble type videos have a lot going on but dang, I didn't think it would happen quite like this this time around. Okay so before we start things off I should probably remove this piece of tape that has been wrapped around my pointer finger for about four days to reveal a mildly moist and cringeworthy skin. Ah, how delightful. If you didn't think your nails and skin were pretty much a sponge, do you believe it now? No worries, this soggy skin bounces back to normal between a few hours and the next day. She just needs some air. Truth be told, I didn't expect to even get to this length either, but you know, the nail goals ebb and flow. So yeah, now that my broken nails are looking more like missing teeth, I'll just take care of the other two nails that made it through to the end of this nail growth journey. And thankfully, I found the footage of me clipping these remaining two nails of my longest nails yet on camera. Overall, these nails may be goners, but at least the footage doesn't have to be. Ready to watch the final cut down? Let's get shopping, finally. Now for this clipping session, my weapon of choice is a little different as recommended by a fellow triber once upon a time. I'm using curved scissors to cut the girls overall and I like this, curved scissors are giving a clean cut that doesn't apply direct hard pressure like normal clippers do. Using the curved scissors feels soft and satisfying despite, you know, being metal. So yeah, super smooth and classy. But of course, the girls are gonna make their natural nail exit super dramatic because sometimes they just do what they want. Exhibit Pinky, just bouncing out of here like on your mark, get set, go. Now, after these two quick cuts, you would think that this hand would be a little bit more laid back, but no, these nails were ready to fly out of sight as well, very literally speaking. You know, eventually, all of the nails have left the scene and we are left with the rough and humble beginnings once again and the nail clippings that have finally been laid to rest. So now that the edges of my nails are super thick from growing out for so long before breaking, I gotta whip them back into smooth shape by way of the coarse file. I haven't whipped out this file in a while, but thick nails call for thicker measures. It's something like that, right? For the most part, I'm doing the one-way swipe, but since my nails were thicker than a snicker at this point, sometimes I filed the girl's back violin style. Fun fact, as your nails grow longer, the thickness of your nails can also increase. Now, since I've grown out the square nails for a long time, I figured now will be a good time to start fresh with a new shape. And so, I'm going for the round shape. This shape is so cute and it mirrors the curved shape of my cuticles and my proximal nail fold. You know, cuticle shapes is a thing, but I don't think we talk about it enough. If you have a moment and feel like being social, look down at your fingers and thumbs and you know, maybe even leave a comment about your cuticle shapes. Be it square, oval, round, or a combination, you might be very surprised to notice some uniqueness or that you in fact have a long lost cuticle shaped twin in the comments. Now, back to this filing session, the girls are looking good, round, elegant, and soft. I actually might keep this nail design a little longer since this design looks better than I thought. Now for this hand, we gotta file it all the way down once again, which we'll do off camera because we've got to get on with it. So I'll be using the coarse file once again and then following up with the diamond file. Literally just graze this one on the edges of your nails to refine them and thank yourself later. And there we have it, the remaining nails that have been through everything imaginable. From the numerous struggles, the initial test phase, the refined test phase, the official product launch, the end of the testing phase, the several trips to Shamblesville, the glamorous revival, and the final nail woes and thus the new beginnings. 
all that nail care story to take us back to the beginning once again with a new rich perspective in the key of round nails. Now, earlier in time, I mentioned something that was a key decision in the testing phase. Behold, a quick trip down nail care memory lane. As you can see, the girls are super long here, thanks to all that product testing for the new nail care treats. But interestingly enough, this one was filmed around the time where I stopped intentionally applying the nail care treats. And you may be wondering, why on earth would I do that? Well, after achieving the breakthrough length, I was super proud of for the very first time with these nail goodies, despite all of the physical work I was doing, I thought, you know, the testing phase wouldn't be complete without seeing what happens if I completely stop using the nail treats just to note the effects of that nail care neglect. The moral of this extended test phase is you can have your natural nail goals. Just remember to consistently use what's been working for you. I've done all of the testing in this series so that you don't have to. Ah, it was so worth it and I learned so much from this whole experience. And that is what the natural nail care journey is all about. So yes, I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed this nail care cut down session and found this video entertaining so that the next time you may have to cut down your nails, there's more fun and less emotional disarray. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and engaging. It's always a pleasure to make these nail care chronicles for you guys to enjoy. With this, take good care and happy nail growing. I will see you in the next one.